<laughs> Hotspot <laughs> ran out of battery? Really? I went <laughs> to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great minds think like me, you, and Hamster, my friend. This is beautiful. And the Blizzard MMR guy as well. Welcome back to Rank Roulette Season 3, Reign of the Swarm. After two Zerg champions back to back, it's time for the other races to step up and take their crown. In Rank Roulette, we invite various pro players and content creators to compete against one another in guessing your ranks. The rules are simple. There are four rounds with one replay each sent in by the community. After each round, both players have to take a secret guess. The further your guess is off, the more points you get. Whoever has least points in the end, wins. But our guests do not only compete against Harstam, but also against one another to get invited back into the playoffs at the end of the season and fight for the prize money. And breached the 500,000 subscriber mark just yesterday. Give it up for Loco. And on the other side, his fierce Dutch rival, Harstam. All right, Loco. As a former champion, we're expecting a lot from you, obviously. So mm -hmm. uh, take it away. What are you seeing here? What do your champion eyes see? I see some amazing Reaper micro, okay? In the meantime, he's even building stuff at home. Always love to see that. Little bit of drone micro, but no spore crawler. And for some reason, there's five drones on the left, and one of them still is dying in the middle line, too. <laughs> no, no, this, is, this was a setup for a surround. You know, this is a very long surround. <laughs> It just took a long time. He went all the way to the left to then come back to the right. It's an ultimate surprise move. The Baneling okay. Evo Evo wall as well. This is a classic. You love to see it. This, the, the movement of the Terran feels better than what the Zerg is doing here. But the supplies are relatively close. Yeah, and he had a lot of money in the bank until we switched to this little section over here. And now the Zerg has like a thousand resources. Okay. Classic double medevac drop. Eight and a half minutes. Yeah, yeah, that is about two minutes late. Well, <laughs> maybe, yeah, they, not great. Well, he's got three CCs. I'm not exactly sure what he's up to, but it, yeah, something's wrong. It's also not the cleanest pickup there. It, it, picking up units with Terran when being surrounded by Lynx is a very specific skill. Holy crap. There's no Bane speed yet, by the way. We're 10 minutes in. Just wanted okay. to mention that. But he did go two control groups, it seems. So he had like an army on the right and then an army right here in the natural too. Did he have two control groups or did he just send the Lynx and Banes to their death and then went with his screen <laughs> to the left side <laughs> and then did Maybe, the same thing yeah. again? There's no road speed either. Does he have a lair? These are the real questions. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, Biles on the medevac. Okay, I thought we started off with a pretty high level game, but the longer we watch this, this replay, the, the lower my ranking is becoming, I'm afraid. Yeah. It it isn't that bad though, like theory-wise, you know? We're what, 2-2 mm -hmm. on the way, 8 barracks, double factory, 4CC, 5th coming in, like... So oh. <laughs> Hotspot <laughs> ran out of battery? Wait, what? Oh, there was a random pause in the game and somehow you reconnected? <laughs> Very nice. Well, that's uh, some comic relief there at the end. Hmm. Okay, okay, let, Loco, let's, let's, let's just talk about what we saw this game. So we saw a Terran who controlled a Reaper, we saw a Zerg pull away drones. Then we saw no road speed, no baning speed, but a Terran with a real plan. And we were paying atta attention to the Terran. Yeah. What are your thoughts? So he seemed to know roughly what the goal in the game was, but everything was very delayed from where you would mm. see it if you actually, you know, watch like a, a top level Terran player playing it, right? So like right. that medevac drop, I think you're right. That was probably a good two minutes late. Maybe he had the units though, right? Maybe he was really focused on the macro. It, it, yeah, the micro wasn't great, but he at the very least, you know, he seemed he seemed like he indeed had a plan. He knew what he was doing. He just yeah, wasn't doing yeah. it so so well. Yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah, I actually have a decent feeling about what this is. Do you want to just send it in? Uh yeah, I'm going to be sending it towards Hamster. Okay, same. I mean, if you would send it to someone else, <laughs> we'd be waiting for a long time, I guess. I have a lot of messages <laughs> that I sent the hamster over the years, I see. <laughs> it's mostly just me answering uh, uh different rank roulettes. But yeah. Uh, I guessed, you guessed. I'll start. Sure. I went for Masters 2. Really? I went Platinum 2. I think that drone pool at the beginning, there's no way that's Master League. But we are looking at the Terran. I think the Zerg was significantly worse. 
I do True, regret. But I mean, they faced against each other, right? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I regret putting Masters 2 now. So I forgot about the drone pool. I forgot about a lot of the things the Zerg was doing. <laughs> but the, the, the no Roach feet and the Vaining speed. Oh, I forgot about that. I just got kind of excited by the Terran having a build and maybe executing it two minutes slow. But overall, there was a. The plan is what really got me. I just get excited when people do theoretically perfect right. things. He's like eight racks and two factories. He's getting upgrades. It made me so happy. Yeah, ah. maybe you are closer though than than you think you are. Because I was I was paying attention to the Terran too, but I was I think mostly focused on the Zerk. So maybe I, yeah, yeah, maybe I shot myself in the foot there. Anyways, right. let's spin it. I want to know. Yeah, show us hamster. Show us your secrets. Well, the secrets of this uh, Terran. The wheel, it's back. Woo! Ooh. That's right. what you said, no? No, I said platinum too, but I was close. Wow, that's close. That's a, it's a win for you. I think that's like a hundred MMR difference, man. Like platinum league is such a tiny league. Yeah, you're. It's actually crazy if you look at like the MMR differences within like diamond league. It seems like. 1100 MMR or something mm. and everything below that is about 1100 MMR as well. Yeah, so it's theoretically you're right is what you're saying. Correct. Yeah, like I think I should get full points as well. Full I'm points right this. Yeah, yeah, we'll divide this by two. You'll get one point. No, we won't nice. because then I'll have no shot of winning anymore. All right. <laughs> well, well what's, our, what's our second one, Hamster? Personally, I'm always a huge fan of the point of view ones. I've, oh, mm -hmm. that's a, is that a cannon rush? You <laughs> saw the probe disappear and come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 the cyber core has to go up right here, yeah. right now. Oh, you might have wanted to wall that out, buddy. Okay, a pro pool. Not very quick. He's going for the... Oh, oh, he snipes the one worker, I think. Yeah, yeah, but you need both. There's still another probe, though. Yeah. Well, he's going to kill one. So he's got half the problem dealt with. Now the photon cannons. Yeah, it, uh, it, I, you can see that one just went up as well. He's looking at it. Why are we not responding to this? <clears throat> Why are we not making zealots? Why are we not doing anything? Yeah, we have plenty of cash gate double stalkers. Slice oh supply. We've got a pylon. Yeah. Super battery should probably be healing the Nexus a little bit as well right now. This honestly is an okayish defense. Well, no, the defense was bad, but the cannon rush was worse. So. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it doesn't really count. I don't really know how down. this cannon rusher is in this spot right now. He seemed to have go, yeah, everything going for himself just a minute yeah. ago. I think he might have just started too late or something. He also, with most cannon rushes, you're kind of, you attack the the ramp as well, so production can mm. continue, right? So this this like a cannon rush that doesn't hit the nexus quickly, and it also doesn't hit any of the gates. So yeah, this is one of those cannon rushes where you're hoping your opponent didn't wall the top of the ramp, so you can just build everything without them noticing. Yeah, or, or it's like one of the cannon rushes where you hope the the, the protos pulls all the probes and loses all of them into your cannons. It's like the only mm. way to win. It's like a bait cannon rush, basically. It's not a real we one. We're on the other side of the map now, though. Ooh. These are always tricky, right? Because, like, defending cheese is way harder than executing cheese. And honestly, look at me over here. He's doing a decent job spending his money. He's transitioning towards everything. Uh, disrupt Three base? What happened? <laughs> oh, he controlled oh. the balls. He controlled the balls. Yeah. You saw that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is very rare. You almost He's never see someone control, control groups as well, I think. Yeah, oh, I think you're right. It's a bait. I don't think, I think normally we see those disruptors wandering forward, right? So they kind of just, you know, shoot once and then they just stick around or they wander into the opponent's army if it's on the lower end of the ladder. He didn't do a very good job defending, but like against the cannon rush at the very least, but after that it seemed much better. But he had a response thought out because the second pylon was next to the nexus. Maybe he didn't want to pull the probes to kill the cannons or to kill the probes because he thought he had a response already. I mean, it worked this mm. time around as well. So. This is, a tr this is a really tricky one. Another thing I want to just point out is that the hole of the wall was on the incorrect side. You know how he walled with the mm -hmm. two gates at the ramp? If this would have been a right. standard game, that would have been terrible because then your probes need to make the, the run around every single time. That's another tell this, that this wasn't a Grandmaster game, Loco. That's the one tip I'll give you <laughs> for free. <laughs> There's no charge okay. for that, no charge. I was considering it, but yeah. I'm glad you brought it up. So I'm going to take it down a little bit lower then. But, but, but now I also want a tip for free. This is a transactional relationship we have. <laughs> <laughs> Can we I, get... I think, honestly, the fact that he was using multiple control groups there and he actually had blink and charge and like, you know, multiple expansions and everything on the back of it. Hmm. I don't think it was... Bronze? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it was on the lower end of things. I think it's actually relatively high up. 
I, th I think so too. I think this was a better game than last game. And last game I thought was Masters 2. Don't forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting closer to Masters yeah, 1. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, and I told you it isn't Grandmaster, so I basically just gave you the answer. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't think you're gonna be very close if you're gonna go Masters 1, but put it hey, in loco. You should, you should dial it in. L li listen to me for once, all right? All right. I'll all right, I I'll sent my answer to Hamster. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll send my answer to them. I went with uh, Diamond 3. Diamond 2 for me. All right, Ooh. very close. Nice. Let, let's just spin it. I think we've spoken enough about it already. <clears throat> we know what we think of this. I think you're going to be very close. It could be I Diamond it, 1, I... but I'm feeling Diamond 2. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Very nice. Yeah, so that cannon rush. Like, there's a lot of players that get pretty high up on the ladder just doing terrible builds. Yeah. I think you may be right. Did that entire plan from the cannon rusher was to hope that the opponent would pull the workers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just praying for plan. bad responses. Like this is the problem. Yeah. And there's you have these other people. Like I always call them the cheese enablers, who never think about like a response to the cheese. So they always have a terrible response. You know, these are the guys that go on Reddit that make angry threats about why cheese shouldn't be played in tournaments. Like this is the type of people, <laughs> and they enable the cannon rushers on the ladders to get to this MMR, and then they play someone with a semi reasonable response, and they get absolutely blasted. And that's what just happened here. All right, so Diamond 1. That's pretty good. Yeah, nice guesses. You're doing well so far, Loco. I'm impressed by your abilities. But I shouldn't be because you are the Season 1 champ after all. I, I'm thinking of what happened at the end of Season 2. Like, at my, I think my final guess at the... I think this was the first round of Season 2. It was just completely off. We were both completely off. I don't know exactly what happened anymore. I think really? I've, I've blocked it out of my memory, but... I think we got robbed then. Yeah, probably got robbed. However, me making a guess that is completely off doesn't really sound like me, so it's an <laughs> unlikely scenario there. That's never happened. Yeah, that's never happened. <laughs> that does not sound like me. All right, what's the third one? I really have a feeling with these POV ones, so this, oh is, this already feels worse. Another cannon rush. <laughs> Where's the gateway? The gateway is not in the wall. It's just somewhere in the base. I, I like how this Zerg had a really nice response with the initial two drones, and I was like, nah, let me pull them back for a second. <laughs> Provide some more space to build more cannons. None of these cannons oh, are walled oh. in. Gets the probe. This is not gonna work, though. There's only a single <laughs> worker on the side of the Zerg. And even though the response wasn't perfect from the Zerg, he's gonna be able to stop this pretty easy. Please don't kill the... No, please don't kill the pylons. <laughs> I technically Where's at this the point... There has to be a pool, right? Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Now this is a game. This is, yeah. You're spot on with that. It's a game. You think they know the hotkey for the super battery? I don't think so. No, 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 no. He's going cannon rush into void race. It's honestly a classic. Yes, I, this, this, oh. I love that he's targeting the overseers over the roaches with the void race as well. He's like, well, the one what thing I really girl? want to get down is, <laughs> is the detection here because he might see my voids. He's just gonna keep sending more and more yeah. roaches and hydras into this cannon wall. This is Min's Zerk over here. You know when you go to the butcher, you ask for some nice yeah, yeah. <laughs> slap of hydra. <laughs> you can grab it straight up out of this probe. Half and half, Why you know? Why Tempest? What is going on, actually? I didn't see the Tempest yet, but there, there. Is, is this Zerk gonna lose this? No, no right? No. I mean, there's two proxy bases. Yeah. And he's not uh. really focusing on the air units. I think that the Zerg might lose this. Oh no. Look! And there's no so anti air. Oh my god, okay. I don't really well, we care will about. Never know. I don't care about the rank rhythm, I just want to know who wins this. You gotta ask There's a good it. chance that this game is in my inbox as well, man. I cast quite a few viewer games, and usually the crazier ones get submitted. I mean, this was. <laughs> This was a Protoss player essentially playing SimCity over here, man. Maybe I can still find out who wins, but... What, what, what do we think of the of the skill level, though? Loco. Let, 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 let's run this down one time, okay? He saw someone sacrifice infinite amount of roaches into cannons and void rays, then do the same thing with roaches and hydras, while there were two proxy nexuses, or two mm -hmm. hidden bases. And one of them wasn't even very well hidden. 
Yeah, but that would require, you know, scouting. So, scouting I probably don't expect. The weird part about that cannon rush though, is that our Protoss started off with a pylon close to the Nexus. Then probably put a fort and he's like, I guess I need a gateway, so I'll put the gateway right next to that too. But they were all surrounding the Nexus, you know? Like it wasn't on top of the ramp, it wasn't on the low ground. Definitely wasn't on the low ground. And he only then sent a single worker while cannon rushing from far away. Yeah, and also his initial cannon rush started extremely late despite it being a forge first. Like his first cannon was gonna finish mm. at the two minute mark. <laughs> uh, yeah, the first cannon is supposed to go up at like 116 or 117. So it was a little bit confusing. And I just wanna say that I think this might be the lowest level game that we have seen today. You don't think it's gonna be I, Masters 2 or Diamond 1? I, no. I don't think it's Masters 2 or Diamond 1, Loco. Okay. I actually think that I know what the answer is here. It's so tricky because, like, MMR-wise, the leagues below Platinum are so incredibly close. I yeah. think I'm... Um, yeah, That's where, I've that, submitted my answer. Uh, I submitted mine too. I went for Gold 3, purely on oh, instinct. I went for the exact same. Really? Well, yep, Gold 3. Great minds think alike, Loco. Let's see if Hamster also is a great mind. Spin the wheel. Oh. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, dude, let's go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great minds think alike. Me, you, and Hamster, my friend. This is beautiful. And the Blizzard MMR guy as well. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that we got this correct. This was that was actually on point, yeah. Gut instinct. Nothing else than that, Loco. I felt it. I felt it in, in my heart. I knew this was going to be gold three. Holy crap, that was nice. Yeah, like seriously, if you look at the MMR rankings, I, I looked at the MMR ratings right before we, you know, started recording this, but there's like literally a, a hundred, 150 MMR between some of the divisions. It's kind of crazy, but I didn't think it was silver. I didn't think it was platinum. And then I figured, okay, it's probably on the lower end of gold. Here we are, man. Good. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is the last one. This is the last one. There's a slow build up in my skill. Do you see it? I started mm. being off like seven <laughs> points. Basically, basically maximum, maximum. Ooh, oh, a heart. Oh, dude, that rapid was a fire. rapid fire as rapid well. Rapid fire. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big tell, Loco. Oh, but he. Oh, no. Now we're, now we're going there. I don't know why we're going there, but it doesn't matter. Rapid fire. Is that an eBay block or what? what is, is that a bunker being built? Uh, yeah, it's a bunker for some reason. Mm. We have Zerklings. I think he already had vision of it, didn't he? Oh, what is this? Wait, what's coming? What? Is this There's a double gas building somewhere as well for the Terran. He is supply blocked right now. What is good? Hey. There's a two racks. Why was there two gas building at home, I guess, while hitting a supply block? Yeah, this is a two racks proxy. Yeah, but uh, uh, why would you two racks while blocking your opponent's hatchery? Then you're just forcing <laughs> out a pool first, no? <laughs> this makes no sense. Oh, no. The that is... Okay. That's the worst mind game I've seen in my life. That's the supply block fixed right there. You see that uh, yeah, supply yeah, yeah, depot yeah. hat? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ew, he actually gets it because he didn't repair. But the Zerk is actually playing pretty decent. Oh no, we're going Mutas into battle cruisers, Dude, you're not Serral. Serral does that a lot, doesn't he? Muta yeah, he yeah. does it. And then you try it out yourself and you're like, okay, yep, I'm not Serral. <laughs> yeah. I, I did not need to uh, try Muras out on the ladder to figure out I'm not sure. I just check my bank account. <laughs> Don't have a million Double dollars in prize money. A follow up, man. Yeah, this is well. Double starport. So this guy went proxy rack or proxy rex, eBay block bunker rush into mass battle cruiser. Okay, then. Yeah, oh, but not actually not, getting work done. Not mass battle cruiser. He is planning on on going into bio from here on out. So. There is something here. Do you think that's his, his his third base there? I think this guy has watched like four Gumiho games and he's like, you know what? This is what we do. We, we put all of them together in one. They start with a two rex with a bunker and we block the, the hatchery. We go double port uh, battle cruiser and then we add five barracks. This did feel very Gumiho. We, we were looking at the Zork though, right? We did see at the beginning that the Zerk was rapid firing a little hard. Yeah. There was no way he was clicking that one. That had no. to be a rapid fire. So he has to have it set up pretty well. But he might just be a tryhard, you know? Like watches mm. the Lambo guides then to hit the timing three minutes too late or something like that. He got blocked on the natural by an SCV and decided to take the five mineral patch natural. 
as a result. I think that is the actual one of the worst calls he could have made there. But this is also like some of these replays we've seen today were on the old map pool. So maybe this is like a replay from when the map pool just went live. So he's like, okay, this is, I guess, the next one in line. It is possible. But I. Man. Okay. Yeah. I think I think I have a good yeah. guess. Yeah, I don't think I have a good guess, but I have a guess, and that's the only thing that's gonna <laughs> matter. I think he was doing a decent job though. When the first battle cruiser came in, he already had the queens out. He didn't have his bases connected, so yeah, a little bit shaky there. But uh, actually, you know what? Can I knock it down one rank? I'll allow it. All right. I, I I haven't guessed yet. I'm still I'm still I'm just ah, oh, what a confusing game all around. I'm. What did happen to those roaches and ravagers, by the way? Oh yeah, he killed the supply depot on the other side of the map. I don't know exactly <laughs> what happened after that. You know, I almost want to go down to like, to like silver, but at the same time, I feel like it could also be high diamond. It's kind of messing with my head right now. I just don't know what it is. I think I'm just gonna... I don't actually have absolutely no clue. Like, I'm thinking about this game and there wasn't... It Maybe I'm leaning a little too much on the rapid fire. Maybe you're right. Because the game itself wasn't very good, but the fact that he's like made a heart, maybe he just I don't know. Maybe he just indeed is one of the one of the, the StarCraft tryhards. But I think this was a pretty high up game. It was NA, right? Uh yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll I, I guess. You can you can say it first though. I originally went Masters 2, but I knocked it down to Masters 3. Oh my god, I went Masters 3 as well. Oh my god, dude. Great minds think alike. Let's do Hester, it. I'm ready. Yeah, the double, the double. If if we get it right, both of us again, that would be brilliant. We should merge. Meant to be an Archon. <laughs> yes. Power overwhelming, baby. Ooh. All right. Anyone who tells me that Masters 1 on NA is better than Masters 1 on Europe, I'll have to show them this game because this was ridiculous. People like, tell you that? Yeah, yeah, well, people tell me all types of weird things, but that is one of the things we hear fairly often. It made no sense. He opened up, he got supply blocked while two rexing, and the two rex build order is a relatively simple <laughs> because it's two. You just need to remember when to build the depot. It's not that hard. That I don't know. What is this? But the NG Bay block when going for a two rex makes very little sense. I'm not sure what he was trying to get out. Like I want my opponent to go pull first or something. I'm not sure what he was trying to achieve there. Yeah, they're forcing out the perfect response out of your opponent. Nice mind game, American. <laughs> it's uh, unbelievable, these guys. <laughs> yeah, there's actually no way. There's no way. Oh my <sighs> God. I should have stuck with Masters 2 in the end, man, but oh well. Yeah. I think I have so a good score. I should have gone with my gut instinct, but. Yeah, I'm telling you, always, it's always the gut instinct. It's always correct. Never change either. That's why I allowed you to change, because I knew you were going to be further oh, off. Oh, smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're way ahead of the game. Way I'm, ahead of I'm the game. I'm just playing, you know, with blocks over here. You're yeah. playing StarCraft. Yeah. D despite being way ahead of the game, I have a feeling that I might not have won. And it probably has something to do with my first guess. Yeah, the first guess wasn't ideal. <laughs> I mean, the first guess was terrible, but still, 11 points is a very decent episode Ooh. for Hearthstone, really. But the season one champion trying to get back his throne with an amazing eight points. Wow. Oh, that's pretty good, right? No, that's really Any good. Anything below 10 was, I remember, really good, right? Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. This is an insane score. Holy crap. Well done, dude. Thank nice. You. That was fun. I, yeah, two points on average. That's sick, actually. That is really well done. Honestly, I, what did I have? 12, you said, or 10? 11. 11. That's also really good, though, right? Yeah, it's not bad. I would have made playoffs last season, right, Hamster? Yeah, that's right the cutoff. Yeah. Oh, how Ooh. many did I have last season? We don't talk about last season. Last week, we saw Bubbles, the blue Protoss player, fight off a completely unique build proxy nexus into a mothership contain. Some people thought it was a setup, but that couldn't be further from the truth, as this was a beautiful and pure PvP ladder game. Let's see what I had to say about that last week. Holy crap. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I think given how bad the decision making is and how okay the control, it can't be too low but also not too high. So I'm gonna go for... Whew. 
Platinum 3. Platinum 3. My guess last week was Platinum 3 and the people of the world went for Platinum 2. Let's see who's right. <sighs> that's me. No, that's them. Oh my god. Ah, but close nonetheless. And sometimes in life, it's better to be close than to be in the exact spot. And this is one of those times. <laughs> CVZ on Europe. Beautiful. A knife fight in a phone booth is how people often describe CVZ. But on Europe, it's often two gentlemen playing a game of high-level chess. But instead of having many different pieces, they just have the pawn. And the pawn in this case is the roach. Now, my expert eye in this matchup immediately sees that this is not going to be the case here. Which makes me doubt that the opponent is a European. Because every European is a gentleman and a scholar. This is a, some lame Ling flood. Okay. it's a lot of money in the bank here. That's interesting. Bailing nest. Ling speed for the blue zerg hasn't finished despite him going for a Ling flood. This is interesting. Defensive drone usage by hold positioning them on top of the ramp. Or, well, not hold positioning, just not doing anything with them. Rebuilding the hatch. Okay, this is one hell of a game. How it's red ahead. Has blue built any workers in the past five minutes? They just straight go up to 27 and then quit building. This also was a terrible response time. There was no micro there. There's a spore going up. I'm not even sure if this is decision making. I was gonna say the decision making isn't great, but... Bingling speed. Four hydras. Why are there carapace? Plus two carapace before a range? He played Ling Hydra, our blue sir. Into a spire! Now, I'm no ZVZ expert, but this isn't it. A roachman is going to win. Roaches always win. That's why people build roaches. It's truly the most powerful unit in the game. Okay, this makes absolutely no sense. The thing is, their macro isn't even that bad. Both of them have okay-ish macro. This is such a difficult one. Because I'm seeing okay macro. I'm seeing... Well, no, no real micro, I guess. Now, now, I'm wondering if this is better or worse than last week. And I don't even know. I... Okay. I actually think I have an answer. My answer here is going to be... Guess yourself now with a link in the comments. I'd love to tease next week's guess, but through incredible incompetent planning, I don't even know myself yet. So I guess we'll have to wait. <laughs>